Hey. All right. I'm recording. Woo! Good deal. So what I had to do, Leroy, is I selected you on the participants list, mm -hmm. and it's got a more arrow there, and I clicked more, and it allowed options that you can allow people to do stuff. One of them is you can make them a host. Yeah. For, for bid record, rename, put, put in waiting room. Oh, I could throw you in the dungeon. <laughs> you could throw me in the dungeon. That, uh... Spotlight video. Spotlight video. That sounds interesting. Yeah. I don't know, know what that means. I don't know. You want to try it? Right. Cancel the spotlight video. Oh. Is that anything? Uh, looks like I'm, it looks like I'm on the screen. Oh, no. Ray's going to try something. <laughs> okay. I'll stop that then. So this thing's got all kinds of tools. This is an interesting tool for sure. Hey, let's see anybody He's going to try to green screen himself. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here he goes. Oh, come on. Please. Put yourself in San Francisco. I'm trying. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. Hey, you guys oh. meet my girlfriend? <laughs> Yo, you catching all of this? <laughs> okay. This is my car. Oh, that works pretty good when you actually have a green screen behind you. <laughs> That's why I went to go get it. I was like, oh, yeah, this is going to work. <laughs> That's good, yeah. Woo. That's kind of cool. I didn't expect that picture, though. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm doing screenshots. I'm saving this. This is good 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 material. Yeah. What uh what PLC were you using, Ray? It's a easy automation. Um, it's only like a four inch touchscreen. Yeah. But it comes in a starter kit. Um, okay. So the the. Uh, okay. I definitely feel like something is going on here. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah. Psychedelic Ray. <laughs> that is just creepy. <laughs> if I got anything better. <laughs> <laughs> Headless Ray. <laughs> That's just wrong. That's hilarious. I feel like I ought to be telling the weather. <laughs> mine's on. Mine's on the black shirt. <laughs> Oh, do you have it set for black or something? No. Uh, What's your green screen set for? What's your color set for? Uh, Got to be set for black. Manually pick a color from the background. Okay. I don't know. Got to be set for black then. Now, now it's green ish. My, my trapper keeper isn't a hundred percent green. 
Oh, Ray, that's freaky. <laughs> that, that is so wrong. <laughs> that, that's, that's freaky. Oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, we could play with this all day. <laughs> it's Spider. It's Spider Man. <laughs> it's a geometric 3D, whatever the heck. <laughs> that is definitely different. Who's got birds? That's me. Let me turn the birds off. Darn birds. Turn the birds off. Hi, Gail. This one here, right? I think we lost Trey. We lost Mike too. Do you oh, there's, there's, there's touch screen. It is touch screen, and that's uh, industrial. That that one there, Ray. I don't know what Ray's doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I need to. Uh, it says it doesn't meet requirements to go without. Okay. How do you just pick a color? Yeah, green is definitely good. Back to green. <laughs> yeah. How do you just pick the, a color? Like if you were to go on and just pick red or um on that on that here. Uh I'll share my screen. Uh maybe. Maybe. Uh, well now I can't. Ow. Well, I see your screen. It's at the the very far left one. It says four inch color slim bezel. That one there. And it's a yeah, it's the yeah. smallest, tiniest little thing. Yeah. And mine is actually an easy touch for it's without the Ethernet. Because okay. you know, I wasn't smart enough to see that hey, you could buy it with Ethernet. And um the other thing is that uh with the Ethernet function, I think it was a hundred dollars more. The one he was looking at was Three hundred bucks. Is that so, without? Yeah, when without go, Ethernet, it was a hundred dollars. When you go here to virtual background, Ray. Yeah. And you uh, click on your background, whatever you want. This little box right here that says that shows black. On mine, you click yeah. on it, and then up here in this picture, you click on. Whatever color. Snow. Okay, I was picking on various colors, but I wanted it to go back to green chroma. So um, that's why I grabbed the. Yeah. Um, the stuff yeah so it, it has to see. It has to see the color to. To pick it. To pick it. And, I think we discovered last week that if you don't pick a color, it picks what it sees the most of. So that's why, for me, it's thick and black. Anyway, that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Um, I know you guys haven't seen me in a while. Uh, not that you love seeing me or all the time or anything, but um, we've been kind of busy. We, we actually uh, cut 20,000 face shields for the health industry. So we converted my demonstration room into a miniature manufacturing. And um, we, we had a bunch of students in here volunteering. We're, you know, everybody's wearing gloves and masks and everything so we didn't get each other sick. But we were, uh, we set up four new laser machines, all that fun stuff. Um, cool. We got a new air compressor. We got the sandblaster fixed, yeah, up and running. And uh, just been trying to stay busy. Wow. I've been playing a lot of video games. Yeah, I don't Bang know if that counts. <laughs> Well, I, I'm trying to keep all my employees. I, I don't know if you guys have been following how much, you know, much about what's happening in business. But uh, small business is pretty tough because, you know, I got to make sure my employees stay with us and that they're not looking for unemployment. Um, and just keep them around. And then uh, we tried to apply for the... Uh, PPP CARES Act and uh, that did not go through and then we've tried to apply for it again and we're we're hoping that you know get better results this time uh, but business is really tough uh, I've been home for so long I'm starting to uh, I recognize my kids when I wake up so uh, it's, it's been really odd you, know? <laughs> you don't know what to do with yourself you're at home I'm at home and it's killing me. I'd rather be out on the road actually doing stuff. Are you talking on the radio? Well, yeah, I can go home and play radio. Yeah. Are you talking on it? Uh, every every few nights I get to talk on the radio. What band do you own? Um, we're up at one forty-seven, four thirty. So it's at um. Uh, two meters. Who's repeater? Uh, we're doing simplex on 147, 430. Okay. I'm, I'm still getting back into the, the, the run of it or whatever you want to call it. Um, I, I, I've been out of the participating so long that I almost forgot some of the rules. So I, I I definitely don't remember where any of the repeaters are or they, or they moved. But, uh, we, we took down a tower, put up a, a nice beautiful tower at my house now. Uh, I'm gonna be playing around with some different uh, wire antennas. Uh, so we put up a pulley system so I can pull up and you know, pull down the um, antennas much, much easier. But uh, down the street, there's a 45-foot tower plus the mast and antenna. We're going to take that down from his house. I have no idea where we're going to put it, though. So. Cool. I noticed on Deadliest Cash that uh, they had a radio they were chatting on. It was uh, set to 146.25, I believe. That's the old point-to-point, -point, right? Uh, one forty six twenty five should be should be a re repeater in the handband. Really, that's that used to be way back in the beginning. The the point to point, if you wanted to talk to somebody direct, <clears throat> that's where you'd go. Talk. But they were using it out in the uh, out in the ocean, you know. So, uh. if you talk under three hundred milliwatts. You can use any band you want. Um, 144 to 148 is the two meter amateur radio band. So if they were on 146.25, they were in the ham radio band and they were probably breaking the law and, oh. unless they were out in international waters, which we don't control anything out there. As long, as long as you don't come back, I guess you can do anything you want. Why they have pirates? 
Um, now, typically, if you're just talking about doing point to point, it's called simplex. Um, if you're using a repeater, there's generally a, uh, a set of frequencies that the, the default is a plus 600 hertz, uh, 600 kilohertz uh, offset. Um, and then another set of frequencies that there's a minus 600 uh, kilohertz offset. So you're actually talking to the repeater on one frequency and you're listening to everybody from the repeater on a, a base frequency. Uh, right, Leroy? Usually. Usually that's the way it works. I think there's a lot of other options, but yeah. This weird little repeater, which is, this is basically a repeater. Um, it works. The input frequency and the output frequency are the same though. So the, so it kind of works like simplex, but it needs, you need a, a radio to, to use it. Yeah, see you've got an icon. Yeah. So it's a little, that's a little hot spot. It's what they call you, a hot spot. You sure oh, that's a, it's well, it's on simplex? Yeah. Yeah. No, it it's a hybrid sort of deal. It's weird. It's when you set up your radio, it to get it to work, you have to tell it um, to use it like it's a repeater, but it's on the same frequency. Is it so, using a DTMF or something? Some kind of coding? Mm, I'm not. It. it but it's a D star radio. So it's a digital, you know, the digital format. Okay. The digital encoding. Um, so it, it doesn't work on analog. It, it's a digital dealie Bob. And it's weird. It's, it's weird. It, it took me a while to figure out that it wanted the input and the output frequency to be the same. But yeah, that's weird. So it's yeah. multiplexing, effectively. Do what? It's multiplexing. has to be. Uh, it, it's weird. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's probably doing packets. It is. Packets that's in, Packets out. Yeah. Wow. Well, there's a, um, in some of the different radios, they've got a compression. Yeah. Converts it to digital, it's picked it, up, and then resent. But it, it, it sends it in like packets. Um, da, 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 da. Catch. So if we Google deadliest catch, there are there are people. <laughs> saying that they're on the hand band. I don't know. That's it's interesting. It looks so you guys still producing mask, uh, Ray? No, we uh, we made a lot of them. Um, basically, when they were trying to fine tune their designs, um, the the best way of manufacturing is using lasers. And once they got done with that, um, their design tweaks, then they decided that they wanted to do injection mold and die cutting. And I think it's really late in the game to try to jump into die cutting or um, injection molding. Uh, I think they should have been doing that three months ago, yeah. four months ago. It has a really high um, initial investment cost. And then um, you've got to make 
millions of masks in order to to really catch up with your investment costs. But with the lasers, we were able to retool within two days. Um, we could you know, go from an empty room to full production within two days. And then if we had to do any design changes, it, it would only be you know, anywhere from 20 minutes to two hours. We did a, a major design change in less than two hours. Were you shipping to one customer or distribution or what? Um, basically, I was a subcontractor for the, the main coordinating company. Um, I made one part of the mask and somebody else made another part of the mask. And literally, they shipped us um, 75 sheets of material. And these were five by eight um, sheets. Hey, Ms. Today. Vicente's been sitting in the waiting room, waiting for me to push the button. <laughs> so, <laughs> How long has he been waiting? Uh, I see hour. you in there. <laughs> see you. <laughs> no speaking. We can't hear you. Are you muted? No. He probably didn't join with the uh, voice when he joined in. Let's see. I've got options here. I got mute audio. It looks like he's got audio. You muted him. Unmute. No, I can't mute him. We can't hear you, Vicente. <laughs> not only have you been sitting for a half hour, you... <laughs> <laughs> now we're we not going to let you, you talk. <laughs> In the bottom left of your screen, there's a microphone. And um, when I'm talking, it turns green. When I'm not talking, it's white. Uh, but if it's muted... Can't hear you muted. either, right? Oh, I'm sorry. When it's muted, it has a red line through it because I'm playing with it. <laughs> oh, that muted. Uh, do the up arrow to the right and see what that says. Yeah. To the right uh, of the microphone, there's an up arrow. You'll oh, you can change which uh, speakers yeah. you Yeah, you can change all kinds of stuff. Yeah, Go you might right. have you know, three different microphones. Vice said he's trying to show us that he's not muted. I'm not muted, I I'm swear, muted. I swear. Uh, we just can't hear air. you. <laughs> go to the up arrow on the right. Hello. Oh, poor Vicente. Right the problem is my computer is all in one, so I can't show my camera anywhere from the side. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much my uh, problem. My, my computer is an all in one. You guys know if anybody needs any uh, laptop computers? I've got, uh, I still have seven left out of 19. So I got seven laptop computers left. You're, you know, you're, Leroy, you're poor for computers, aren't you? you? You got them everywhere. Turn around. I, uh, I don't really think I need laptops. Hi. Hello. Oh, there, oh, there he is. is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there is an option here. So, I, I, uh, I don't think I need raspberry pies either. I have. Give the touch screen. Pies. Give the <laughs> Raspberry touch screen. Uh, yeah, it's sitting. I've got two of them. They're sitting back there on the on the show with Raspberry Pis in them. Very now I know where all your money goes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Vincente, where where do you go? I don't know. I blanked him. <laughs> his his video is uh, gone now. <laughs> oh, poor my like, son. No. <laughs> <laughs> I 
think the last time I counted, though, Ray, I had 22 Raspberry uh, Pi Zeros. No. I blocked you. I block you out again. Wow. You don't get blacked out. <laughs> Eat your food, man. We're starving over here. <laughs> <laughs> That's not right. That's not right. Everybody's diving for their food now. We should have, oh, we're, we're doing the social distancing thing. I was going to suggest, hey, we should have another meeting over here sometime. Did I, I think I showed other people. Have you seen that, Ray? That was my Raspberry Pi into an actual laptop. Yeah, well, that was from Micro Center. $160. Their website had it on sale for $9.95. Oh, cool. So, of course, I bought the last two they you had. You bought two. <laughs> the last two. <laughs> and, and yet, I haven't put them together. <laughs> They're just sitting in a box. That's sad. Yeah, but it's uh, it's not a touch screen, but it's like a seven inch screen and a Raspberry Pi uh, three. Yeah, one of those. <laughs> well, this one is a touch screen. Well, the ones for, for $10 were not touch screens. Okay, I admit, mine wasn't $10. Yeah, yours wasn't $10. Hey, but I do have laser cut cool stuff. You do. Okay. That, that's a 10 inch touch screen. I got that. Um, actually, actually, Micro Center has this kit on sale right now for $103, which is a pretty good deal. Amazon Fire HD 10, whatever thing, 65 bucks. How do you do that? What do you mean? The 10 inch version? Isn't it yeah, it's the 10 inch uh, Fire from Amazon. Yeah. It's not, or uh, it's the HD 10. I don't think it's the Fire. Um, it, it's, it's just a nice version. I ended up buying, I got five of these um, when I bought all the, the set of laptops. So um, I still have, I use one for my son. One for me. Um, I threaten my daughters. I'm like, hey, if you break your iPad, this is what you get. <laughs> and because they're just so, I don't know, brainwashed for Apple products. Um, but I've got, I think I've got three of those that I don't even use. Um, if anybody wants to buy them from me, uh, 70 bucks each. But it's less expensive than his Raspberry Pi touchscreen thing. Mm -hmm. um, oh, there's what kind of background did you use, Vicente? Uh, San Francisco. Yeah. Did you did you put a had to put a board up or anything? No, oh, there isn't in the options here in the background options. It's one one of the one of them. Oh, okay, you can use your regular background. Oh, yeah, yeah. we'll be all over the place now. Choose a bit background. Uh, I can use. I think we're almost out of time, aren't we, Jim? Oh, no, we got upgraded to unlimited. Did we? I did, I missed that. 
Well, yeah, if you're new, you get uh, extra this, time. This is your last time you get extra. You, yeah. You've already used your two extras. <laughs> I thought they just realized what a great leader I was. <laughs> no? <laughs> laughter. There should be no laughter. I'm there not laughing. No, there is no laughter. He All right. actually got video in his background. Yes. Not just a still picture. He's got video back there. Yeah, here. it's windy here. <laughs> it's windy there. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh my God. Hilarious. Playing with this. Let me turn off. Uh, You can mirror it, mirror, none, no, it's none. <laughs> yeah, you got the green stuff. <laughs> I don't have a choice. I wish I had the background like he's got. How'd you do that? <laughs> I think you just hold it. What did you do? I just held it, the button, and it kind of yeah. adjusted yeah. until it wiped away, and then you could release it. Just hold the button when you Depends. select. Depends on the, illum in the illumina illumination or the, the lighting. It, it can solve the, the background easily. Maybe I have a, a side light that creates two, two different spaces for the, the software. You know, I am not using any in my, in my background. I need a whole wall. I need a green wall. <laughs> that, that, day, that looks so cool. <laughs> Don't know how you did that, but that is so cool. Yeah, I don't have an option for what Vicente's doing. I don't see it. You have to go to the video? No, I just uh, choose a video. There is an option for video in my... In your virtual background? Let me, sh let me share the screen. Yeah. Uh, uh, sharing now? No. I see. Yeah, we see it. Yeah, it says choose virtual background. Wait, it. How did you do that? <laughs> it disappeared. Yeah, your screen definitely looks different than mine. I don't have that option. Ray, can you see this? Yes, it's the cup for your daughter. I saw it on the previous um, meeting. I, I was like, okay, well, why is his daughter not using that? <laughs> no, she, she, she bring it me. She, she came from Washington because they looked down and she, she just bring me now in a while with coffee. I should get you one with, with she, she your me. name on it. I need another one for my other door for Victoria, but Victoria. I, 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 will, I will pay for it. <laughs> in, in, in your next show, in your next show room, I will be buying one for Victoria. G 
Jim looks like the honey eyes from the, the kids <laughs> movie. <laughs> this thing oh. is way good. Way cool. I don't know. You kind of look like you're in a, an aquarium. <laughs> 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 Do you get me? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> sooner, sooner or later, we'll appear a fish passing through. <laughs> yeah. Shark coming in behind you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I, I wish I could figure out how to get the video in the background. That was just cool. It's an option. I show, yeah. I show, I show you. I see that. I see virtual background. <clears throat> Says I have a green screen. It only lets me add images. It doesn't let me add videos. When the, the very first time I went to virtual background, a week ago, week and a half ago, whatever it was, it popped up and told me that my processor was not, or my video processor was not uh, optimized for doing certain things. I wonder if that's the problem. It did tell me that I'm not good enough to go without uh, the green screen, which is weird. It seems like you would be using up more processor with green screen. So, let, let, let me share what, what I'm having in my screen. Uh, okay. The second. Uh, Sharing the screen uh, there. Can we just start it? Okay. You see. What do you see? We see the Microsoft logo now. Uh, now. Yep. I see your software. Okay. And this is the option for video is. Uh, it's here. You see this? Okay, so if you click on the add a video or add something? No, yeah, I just choose the virtual background and, right. check, and check the in this icon. Oh, so what this. if you click on the add up, up a little bit? It's a video. Okay, I see that. I see that. But if you add something, which is you go up a little bit and there's a little plus button. I just, yeah, here. You can okay, add. you click that. Your own picture. No, but this is a, a picture, a static picture, because the software don't let me to show this. I just uh, take okay. a, a screen, a, a print screen, and I move to a, another screen. I think that my processor is too slow to um, to, to show video options. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking for me. My screen doesn't look like that at all. Oh, mine looks almost exactly like his, except when I go to pick a um, a video, there's there's no video. There's no video. It just says add an image, not a video. Yeah. yeah. What kind of uh, what kind of file is that? The video know. file. It came with the system. Well, 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 what's in the, in the, in the app? I, I just download the app from them, and it's, it's in the app in Windows. And it's uh, what's what's happening is it, it doesn't load that because let, we don't let, let, let me show. Uh, let me. Uh, I, did you see? Uh, 
Let me turn off the background. Uh, no. Okay. Now I have a non background, but you can see the the options. One of them is the video things here. Yes. But, but when know. you click on the add button, the the little button on the top upper right, there's a little button. The ha uh, here. This right. One? Okay, you click on add image or video. Okay, Mine but, does not say but, add video. Uh, Mine okay. only says add image. Okay. That's why. Yeah. That's why I hate you. Okay. So <laughs> and I'm and I'm on I'm I'm running Linux, of course. And the software's just like just enough different to be different. But I don't have that option either, and I bet it's because it's a, it doesn't think that my video processor is good enough to do it. Even though I think my video processor could do it. Leroy, I, I like your background. You like my background? Yeah. How you did it? <laughs> I, I have here my Raspberry Pi. Let me turn out the background. Uh, turn off. No. There. This is my robot with a Raspberry Pi. An Arduino Micro Pro Pro Micro. As a I2C slate. Can you see it? Yep. The Raspberry Pi is using the Arduino Micro as the I2C slate, and it controls the the motors and everything. There you go. This is my uh, in circuit in circuit emulator for the Chinese uh, tiny microcontrollers. Three, three cents each. Ray hasn't seen your new board. No, I'm looking at him like that's crazy. The the main board that Vincente is using. What is that? You seen nothing yet. Show him, Vincente. What what main board? The the one you made. The fab board, the board you fabbed. Ah, yes. Uh, let me show this here. This is an, an ARM uh, development system. Can you see it? Farther away, because your your camera does not focus. There you go. This is a. Uh, an STM microcontroller in a tiny board. Yeah. With an automatic uh, loading system, you only need to, to press the, the button for a second, and the, the board will uh, catch any upgrade uh, of firmware without uh, doing anything else. But if you will, when you, you go back to the bottom and change to the mode to, the mode to run, it's like something like a run and develop thing. You change from one one thing to another. So that 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 he did before Ray was he he prepped up what he wanted and then he sent it in and had it built. This is a custom board yeah. you're looking at. Yeah. Designed. I, I, I designed it. Let me show the a picture. 
I share a picture of it in a, in a big screen. Mm, just a second. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I was also talking about you had another board that was like maybe the size of an Arduino Mega. And the programming next to your robot. I didn't see it. Uh, I, wish, I will show the, the, the board designer in my screen sharing thing. Uh, share. Can you see it? Yes. Uh, this is the board. I, I am using a USB C connector. This, this is the USB adapter, serial adapter. This is the tiny Chinese three cents controller. And this is the arm, the arm microcontroller. A user, user button, a LED button, a LED, uh, a user LED. LED, LED, LED user. This the LED change from on to off. If you press for more, more than a second, the reset and, and the, the, the firmware can be downloaded automatically when it's in the program mode. And that's it. Works great. I have two versions one, one the 8 megahertz uh, crystal, and another one with a, a RTC crystal, uh, three, 32 kilohertz for a real time clock works also pretty nice. Well, this is the, the beta, beta, the beta, beta, beta version of it. It's nice. This is uh, the size of it, tiny. And this was the prototype in, in a breadboard of all the system. Here I am using the, the Chinese microcontroller, but in the eight pins version, instead of the six pin one that is in the final PCB. This is the ARM microcontroller. This is a 3.3 a volt super regulator. Receive reset button to change the, the mode. And this is the mode left development or wrong. What else? Mm. The back of the board is this. This is everything they're explaining. You can press for, for, for uh, the button, the reset button for a second, and you switch the mode from programming to running and back, depending. There is a user led in the, in the PV1 pin and a user button in the PA, PA, PA0. I changed the, the current of the system. I changed the regulator for a, 500 milliamps for the final version. The boot uh, pin that is used for to reset in programming mode is internal, is used by the tiny microcontroller. Well, this board is the, from April 2020, first one, and that's it. Nice. Those are the, the boards when, when they arrive in China. What else? Sorry, guys. My wife says I have to come home. <laughs> <laughs> I never. All right, guys. Uh, bye. Wrap. Bye, Ray. Bye, all. Glad bye. I got to see you. Good to well, share some projects. Nice to see you. See you next week. week. See you next week. Yep, we'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Bye. <clears throat> we probably need to go and get some food too. Even though Patty hasn't said anything yet.
I'm going for food. Uh, Get out of here, Vicente. We'll block you again. <laughs> <laughs>